Uh, definitely excitement. You know, they've, um, it's, it's easy to be happy when good things are going, going your way. Um, but I, I, I told them today the best part about this kind of winning streak is that we're not even playing our best baseball right now. You know, we've, we've played a lot better than these last five, um, but um, they're finding ways to win. They're finding ways to kind of stay together and keep their energy up. Um, and that's what you need through a, a long season. Um, everybody pulling their weight. Um, today, obviously, Almanzar was huge for us. Um, and you just never know who's going to come uh, unexpectedly out there to, to drive in the runs. And today it was him. Are you uh, feeling some deja vu right now? Like, are you, does, does it feel similar to last year as far as getting off to a hot start in the second half? Um, not really. Like, that feeling hasn't really hit me. I get more de deja vu just coming up here and talking to you guys <laughs> every Sunday. Um, but no, it's, it's similar, but it's, it's what minor league baseball does at this level. You know, you go through your ups and downs early, and um, you start to figure things out, and you stick to the process, and things start to go your way. Biggest you, thing that's happening, you see right now you're starting pitching at the lights out since the last five games. Yeah, you know, they, they've been good pretty much all year, like just giving us quality innings, being able to, to go pretty deep in the ball game. You know, five, six, seven innings um, is huge for us at this level, and, um, you know, the quicker we can get to that, but that end of the bullpen, you know, Miller, Radke, um, you know, we feel pretty confident where we're at. How, how do we, we ask the players this too, but um, obviously you guys have been a good home team all year and, and not quite as consistent on the road. Um, what, what can you try to do to find some consistency on the road here in the second half? Um, you know, just, just try to keep things going how they're going here. You know, we try to create our same uh, momentum. We try to do our same routine. Um, obviously it's a little bit different because timing's different you get to the ballpark a little bit late but uh, that's like on myself and our coaching staff to try to create that same atmosphere we do here at home and um, keep these guys rolling. What's, uh, what is it about Parkview Field that, uh, that you think brings out the best in your team? Um, it's just the routine? No it's the comfort you know obviously it's a beautiful place to play um, we have great fan base um, there's people here always supporting us and these guys like to play in front of big crowds like this um, not too many people can play in front of a 6,000 plus crowd on a Monday, you know, or come out for a 12 o'clock game on a Wednesday and see 6,000 plus. So it's a special place to play. These guys obviously enjoy it, um, you know, and they like playing here. You got guys picking things up now. I mean, you said one part of the game falters a little bit, another part of it picks up. That's what you have to succeed, isn't it? Yeah, and these guys are starting to learn what it takes. You know, we, uh, it's almost like school. You know, you, you, you study and study and study, and finally you start to like grasp what you're learning. And these guys are doing that every single day. And um, these players are really young, but they're starting to understand situations. They're starting to understand uh, what it takes to, to play this game at a high level. Um, and it's transferring out onto the field. You mentioned Luis. Um, what did you see from him specifically on that home run today? I'm just being aggressive, like on his pitch. You know, he, he looked uh, a little bit more confident stepping into the box early today, um, getting ready early to hit, and he didn't miss his fastball when he got it.